Let's do our part to help birds thrive. We can make our yards come alive. Hi there, my name is Brooke. Welcome to my homegrown national park. Today, I want to tell you about some of the hardest working little creatures in my backyard. Bees! We call bees master pollinators. But what is a pollinator? A pollinator helps plants grow by moving pollen from one flower to another. Bees fly from flower to flower in order to drink nectar. Nectar is a sweet liquid produced by flowers. It's packed with sugars and provides energy-rich food for pollinators like bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. Bees use nectar to make honey. They even tell each other where to find nectar by doing a little waggle dance. When bees collect this nectar, pollen from the flowers sticks to their bodies. Bees are very strong. In fact, a bee can carry almost its own body weight in pollen or nectar while flying. When the bees visit their next flower, some of that pollen rubs off. This helps the plants grow seeds and fruit. By pollinating plants, they keep our gardens, farms, and forests healthy. Without pollinators, plants wouldn't be able to make the food we eat, like apples, almonds, and even chocolate. In fact, without bees, supermarkets would only have half the amount of fruit and veggies we have now. Bees are also an important part of our ecosystem because they provide food for other creatures. Some birds, including robins and woodpeckers, eat bees. They avoid getting stung by eating them so quickly that the bee doesn't have time to sting them. Bees only sting when they think their life is in danger, but a honeybee can only sting once before it dies shortly after. I like to observe bees from far away so that they don't feel threatened. And most of the time, they're too busy working to bother me or anyone else anyway. Bees are incredible creatures, but they need our help. Pesticides, habitat loss, and climate change make it harder for bees to survive. But don't worry, there are things we can do to help. In order to help the bees where you live, talk to an adult about planting lots of native flowers in your garden, flowers that bees love to visit. I planted these native plants right here to help our bees. You can also set up a bee bath. Just fill a shallow dish with water and add some stones for the bees to land on. That way, they can take a drink while they're working hard pollinating. Remember, bees are our friends. By planting flowers and making our gardens a safe place, we can help these master pollinators do their important job. When we bought this house, this backyard was only grass. We made the decision to transform our yard by planting native flowers, shrubs, and trees. And voila, we created our own homegrown national park. And you can do it too. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Birds will make your world go round, filling the air with beautiful sounds, picking up seeds, putting them down. Let's restore 20 million acres of nature's habitats. Let's do our part to help birds thrive. We can make our yards come alive. Feeders, native plants too. There are so many things that we can.